Recently, I saw the latest Spider-Man movie, Across the Spider-Verse. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. I like how the alternate universes had a different storyline. And what intrigued me the most was how one disruption by a Spider-Man or a villain in a different universe could alter the trajectory of a Spider-Man or a villain in another universe. And this made me think about my life and people who have struggled to overcome their challenges and those people who ask me, man, I'm stuck. What do I need to do to get out of this place right now? The answer to rising above your current situation, the answer to being a better leader, a better spouse, a better professional, a better person, the answer to living the life that you want to live is really disrupting your current life. Okay, so there are a few things that are holding us back. So listen to me for a minute. Entertain this thought. A lot of us are prisoners to our past. Now, I get it. There are things that happen to us that are hard to overcome. There are things that are affecting you today that are preventing you from being your best self in the present. And so obviously that's going to hinder you from achieving the things you want to accomplish in the future. When you're looking at your past, it's not always bad. It depends on the lens that you use to view the mistakes and the things that happen to you. And here's the point that I want to make about that. This quote by Søren Kierkegaard points to this to some degree and extent. It says, life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forward. So, yes, we need to look at what happened to us remember the lessons from the mistakes we made or things that hurt us by people who even cared for us but they just did something wrong to us and that affects us in the present so i'm not denying the pain that you may be experiencing right now or the impact of something that happened to you but here's this one power that you have and i don't want you to overlook this and this is why i'm sharing this and i'm struggling with this thought because I think it's hard for us sometimes to imagine an alternate narrative. Sometimes it's hard for us to imagine a different storyline. When I was trying to disrupt the cycle of multi-generational poverty and overcome all those things that in a lot of ways they, they hinder my progress in the present, but in some ways they actually empowered my progress when I did this one thing. I embraced the disruptions by other people. In other words, I had people in my life who helped me to see a different perspective, to help me to see a different side. Coaches, counselors, mentors, educators. They helped me to see that, okay, yes, this did happen to you. This is going on in your life. But listen, what about this? Maybe you can use this situation to help you to start walking down this path. And so here are a few things I want to leave with you today. Number one, you have the power to write an alternate story, right? So whatever your story was, it's not the end as long as you're breathing. An old mentor of mine, he used to say this to me. He said, as long as he's breathing, he had a choice and a chance to make a difference in his life. And so today you have a choice to write an alternate story, but it depends on you. It depends on your imagination. It is unlimited. So you can go as wild as you want. You can go as big as you want. You can be as small as you want. You can write an alternate story. One of the things that will help you to develop a different perspective about your life to change your trajectory is asking what ifs. Like, what if I took this course? What if I asked this person for assistance? What if I changed my behavior, changed my routine? What if I solicited assistance to accomplish this? You know, those what if statements are powerful, but what makes them even more powerful is when you act on the what if that you have conjured with your imagination. So if you're that type of person right now, you're struggling, you're saying to yourself, man, I'm not where I want to be. I know I should be further along or I'm still paralyzed or imprisoned by what happened to me in the past. Today you have an opportunity to disrupt that, that cycle, that, that state that you are in. By number one, first 
soliciting help from someone to help you to disrupt it. So to speak, you're a Spider-Man from a different universe. Second, you can write a what-if story. That story that's going to bring out uh, those opportunities, those possibilities. Like, what is it that you want to do in life? And then the third thing you have to do is execute. Yeah, that's my cue for you today. Look at your life differently. Write the alternate story and execute, baby. I'm Stephen Garner. Take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue. <laughs>